magnificent work of one of the great masters of cinema, Michelangelo Antonioni. But if you think you can work with this particular old Italian bird without thinking, <laughs> you've got another think coming. He's very stimulating in every way. He's about what anybody who wants to make anything, he simply loves making beautiful things. He has deservedly a kind of status with his people. He is the maestro, and, and of course he is, and he's, he's neither modest nor immodest about it. But he, like anybody who's worth their salt, he's capable of departing his own dogma. I can tell you, He's very open about what he thinks about these things, and this doesn't keep anyone who works with him from loving him. He thought really all of his work was simply a documentary on the day of shooting, that that's really the most spontaneous thing of all, and that that's really what he was after. And then he said a very, told me a very self-effacing story about when he was making Red Desert which is really an indictment of industrialization and so forth. And he said to Jack, you know, I'm making this film with this idea, and every day I rode to work along the Adriatic, and on one side going was the beauty of the sea, the sun, the clouds. And on the other side of the road was all of the rusted out, decayed infrastructure of the industrial area that I was driving through. And in all honesty, Jack, I found myself very shortly only looking at the industrial ruins and the ugliness of them and not so much at the beauty of the sunset. And I asked myself, uh, why? And I answered, because a man had been there. And I always thought that was very honest and that's really what this man is all about, the passenger. Incidentally, he reduced all this reducing of the actor's use to me uh, in one simple statement. Jack, uh, uh, nothing wrong, but for me, the actor is a moving space. <laughs>